in my hair. So it was like an hour and a half wait to go to Din Dai Fung. Here we are, we're gonna be having burning mouth again. Chicken bowl, fried chicken. So here's ours. And here are all the extra sauces. Of course I have to come by Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> Home. Let's go. I'm back home to my sourdough starter and she's alive. And here's how she looks like. I haven't given her a name, but this is for at 4 45 p.m. And I fed her at 8 a.m. and she's doubled. I do not have any plans to bake yet because I went out and so that will probably be the following week so stay tuned on my sourdough baking journey good morning it's almost 8 a.m and the last feeding of the sourdough 8 p.m last night so i am going to feed it
it's slightly a little heavy but let's slice some more i need to slice thick slices because it's so hard i i need a new knife by the way <laughs> yeah it doesn't form a lot of air pockets but it's okay i you know i think this is because of um the dough was heavy and it was an old flour so i mean uh it turned out beautifully and now just trying to cut it into slices Yeah, not a lot of large pockets at all, but oh well, let's, yeah, let's just slice it and slather it with butter and blueberry jam, yeah? I toasted the slices a bit and it smells so good. Well, today is the start of my sourdough bread baking and as the saying goes, with practice makes the loaves perfect, yeah? Thank you so much for watching along and I shall see you next time. Bye.